So Robert, we're here in Riverside, California. A long day for you, and you're going to the airport right now. Going to the airport right now, yes we are. Tomorrow's a press conference, Dallas. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you where it is tomorrow, so uh, the press conference is taking place at... Uh, it's open to the public. Mm -hmm. Mikey Garcia will be there, you will be there. Juan Malopez, George Foreman, Bob Arum, um, it's good. The fight's going to be on HBO. Mm -hmm. The press conference is at 1 o'clock at the Americans Airline Center. Oh, right there where the fight's going to be. Yep, 2500 Victory Avenue, Dallas. That's awesome. Hopefully we can get a lot of people there, a lot of support. I got people that I know that actually lived in Oxford, they live there now. So, we'll, uh, we'll see if we have some fans that show up. 1 o'clock tomorrow, hey, Dallas. I'll, I'll be there tonight. I need somebody to find me a Whataburger. Maybe they weren't sure you're going to go. Remember, I'm Mexican. But, uh, we're Mexican. Yeah, but that's the reason people are going to show up to the press conference. If they're going to know you're there, they're going to ask about you, Pajaro. Yeah, we're going to be there. The Pest is going to be there. The Pest for sure. He's a good dude. He's cool. Yes, he is. And um, <laughs> you're friends with Juanma. Yeah. And also here today, we have Jesus Culiar. Very, very talented Cuellar. fighter. Cuellar. Cuellar. <laughs> Where are? Where's Ronnie? Ronnie, come here for a second. Very, very talented. We got Neno sparring over there right now. Ronnie, you looked amazing today, man. You look sharp. Oh, it was just uh, kind of like we did a tenor on uh, right, Monday, so it's kind of a little slower, slower pace. All right. Oh, All right. How are you doing? All right. What do you think about Ronnie Rios? 20 and 0? Of course, I know that. Very talented, great future. Great future. He's got great people behind him, he's got great managers, so get him there. It's always a lot of a lot of times a lot of young fighters, they uh, they're not patient enough, they don't let a lot of them pressure the managers too much. So sometimes the manager is forced to to do something that he might not be okay with. But uh, you know, that's what, you know, yeah. just be patient. And, you know, the time will come, and you're young, so yeah, he's got to be patient. He's got great. I'm a purist. I'm a purist, man. I, I think if you start off with the coach, you know, you finish it, you stick it through. There's a lot of fighters, a lot of young fighters that lose, and then they, they blame their coach. Yeah, that, that's the first thing. And then boom, they, they take off, and yeah. they just go through so many coaches. That's and true. Yeah. I, you know, if if I lose, it's it's on me. It's not yeah. my coach. It's a on fighter me. never says that. Yeah. Right. No, no. That's the first time I've heard that. And, and it's know, on me, man. You know, and, and, and he's got great, great team, great management team. So, you know, if he's patient, you know, they're going to do their job and they'll get him there.